Hello, I'm back with a few mentions about writers, authors. I also wanted to add uh, something, which is uh, basically my vlogs mention authors, writers that are not, some are not published yet. Some are awaiting publication uh, and you know their work is in progress but they are kind enough to share their work with me and I get to peek because I follow them on Twitter and I make requests to read their work. So they, but of course, they all will be very soon published authors and that's when I'll be doing their reviews. So till then, these writers will keep getting a mention on my vlogs and the published authors will get reviews. And uh, today I have two writers that I could not mention because I don't want to push too many authors into one uh, uh, vlog, you know. And these two authors are published authors. It's not their work in progress. I'm actually talking about their published books. So the first one is uh, by uh, Dr. Krishna Boyapati. His book is called Remembrance. This book is a love story and it is set in the woods of IIT Madras. Remembrance, Dr. Boyapati says, is an intense memoir told from the heart. It has love, romance, suspense and all human emotions interwoven in the fabric of this story. Now there is another question that uh, Dr. Boyapati poses via his uh, story in the book. Can true love survive throughout the rough and tumble of life? Can love face challenges? Can real love face challenges? And he says the answer to this question lies in remembrance. Uh, I also have my opinion on true love. I 100% say that it can survive. If it has the uh, intent if it has the sincerity, if it is honest and you know deep inside you that this is love and I want to nurture it, I want to hold on to it, then it is possible. And this forms the crux of the next book I'm going to talk about, which is Bashwati Ghosh's book, Victory Colony 1950. So a little backstory. I'm going to ask you a question. If not for our will and desire to fight back, what are we as human beings? I think we are just empty shells. Without these, uh, you know, uh, characters, like without these two features, without these two uh, characteristics. We are nothing. Will and desire to fight back. Without that, we are nothing. And Amala is one such force. She has a very strong will and even stronger desire to fight back. Who is Amala? She is one among the many refugees from East Pakistan who have landed in uh, Kolkata. As you all are aware, the Indian subcontinent went through this, uh, uh, you know, uh, partition in 1947 and it was split into West Pakistan, East Pakistan and India, of course. So, Amala comes from East Pakistan and lands in, uh, on this side of the border, India, in Kolkata. And uh, she has lost everything. She has crossed the border with her brother and when she comes to the railway station in Kolkata, she goes to fetch water, some food for her brother who is very uh, weak. But when she comes back, he's missing. He's not there. So now this lady, young lady has lost everything back home. And now she comes here. The only thing she was holding on to her, a dear life of hers, is lost her brother who she loves dearly and uh, 
Now what? Nothing, nothing. There is nothing more to lose. And she has nothing. Frail, really frail in body, but not in mind. And that is what she uses. So she has retained her spirit to fight back, her very strong sense of self, her pride and her fierce independence are the only things she has with herself. She tries to build her life with that. And these are the qualities that endears the reader to Amala. And not just the readers, but these very qualities make makes Manas fall in love with her. Now, who is Manas? Manas is the person who volunteers at the refugee camp that is accepting uh, the refugees that have come across. And he is responsible for uh, resettling them and taking care of them, etc. So, as the story moves, this love grows and he witnesses Amala finding solution for every challenge she encounters. Be it at the refugee camp or when she follows a few rebels and builds Bijoy Nagar, the victory colony, which is the name of Bashati Ghosh's book, Victory Colony, Victory Over All Hurdles. And what she, what Amala does after she moves to the, uh, moves to Bijoy Nagar, she supports not only herself, but her adopted family, extended family, she calls her parents, you know, by getting a job as a seamstress and becomes an inspiration for many in the colony. So this is love. You see, she has this strong love for survival and helping others outside her being. That and Manas finds those qualities endearing and he even he falls even more deeply in love with her because he starts respecting it grows that's what love has to be it has to grow it has to be patient and that is what happens so what is manas he is the wind beneath omala's wings and together they create a new world the victory colony for the refugees where they live work and flourish. And this happens because Amala loves human beings, helping them while helping herself. And Manas, in you know, in his own way, he is also helping, he also likes to help human beings. He loves them. He loves to, they both love to uh, take uh, peop, uh, lessen people's uh, miseries by helping them become independent by helping them express themselves, you know, giving them that freedom to be who they want. That is what they share in common, the love for people. The true love they find is this, that the human beings are all the same. It's not about who they are, where they come from, what they are human beings pure simple their emotions and that's what brings manas and amala close because they share this common factor and they help each other grow the others grow and the community grow so this tale is about gaining victory over life by overcoming hurdles without giving up you know like uh, without giving up, struggling, doing what they have to do to keep it going. This is the heart and soul of the book. And, you know, this exactly is how love should be. It cannot be limited to just like, you know, oh, now that I'm in love, okay, fine. I found my love, big deal. Now, let everything else take a second place. So if it is true love, it will start spreading. 
it will start spreading and not stay limited to just two people. It will take along the human, the people that come along. So when you love someone, when you love something, that is how it flows. Then you know it is true love and if it can survive challenges. Malus and Amala's love survives all challenges. And the refugees, they also find, you know, uh, love because in the form of Amala and uh, Manas, they also feel that love given by these two to them. And they also grow and flourish. And it makes, uh, you know, these two make a lot of changes to so many people's lives in there. Urmila, there is a character. Just by love, they change her, you know, and she becomes her own person. There are many such examples and many such uh, uh, stories in this book. And it is such an awesome read. And uh, I definitely am giving it one more read. It is an awesome book. So, Vashati Ghosh takes us on an emotional journey right from the word go. And she has the power to submerge us into a world created by us. It is totally like it wraps you up. You know, you just get engulfed. You just get like, it is, it is a beautiful book. I really loved it. It is not just, uh, oh, I just loved it, but I was so deeply involved. I could not, I did not want to stop reading. You know, it was so good. It is really a very good book. And people, if you all believe in love and if you want to know how true love survives and what it can do to people's lives, it is a must. Victory Colony 1950 has that. And I feel if we can even take a tiny you know, sliver of that love that is mentioned in this book. We can change our lives. We can change the lives of people around us and uh, inform what it is to uh, have love, what it does. And I think times are such, we need to do that. We need to spread love. We need to tell people we are all humans. End of it, it is us. We are all one. That is all I have to say. And uh, I think you got an idea. So if you like my vlog, please uh, give it a, a like, subscribe, follow. And I will be uh, adding uh, Bashuti Ghosh's uh, website link in the comment section and uh, uh, Dr. Krishna Boyapati's as well. So, so long, spread love, take care, love yourself, love, just, you know, nurture it, spread it, be happy, have, a, have an amazing weekend, enjoy whatever you do. Bye.